Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're having a look at the updates to the add-on Snap Measure. So I've done a couple of videos on Snap Measure, it is an amazing tool. It allows you to set up measurements for the dimensions of different objects or gaps between objects, but more than that it allows you to control them and set those distances so that you can change your shape as you need to. It basically makes Blender turn into something very akin to CAD. I've got a couple of videos on that including the basics of it and it getting more complex using things like drivers. I'll put a link to that playlist in the description, but that was from SnapMeasure almost being a beta at that point, but since people have been purchasing it and telling the creator things they'd love to see, he's done a load of updates and it's getting really, really impressive. I mean, it was impressive before. Okay, so let's start with the basics. And if you remember, we control shift and V to go into snap measure mode. And the first thing is we get some really nice options at the bottom here. My favorite of which is that if I hold down shift when I start doing a snap measure, I can click, click, and then we're automatically in offset mode. So I can move that wherever I want so it's not staying on the lines. And I can hit Z, for example, to lock it to the Z axis or Y to the Y axis, whatever you want. So that's really useful just from a speed point of view. Now, pretty exciting, but it's not the thing I'm most excited about. Let's just come out of that and right click to get out of snap measure mode, because what I really like is that now we've got a lot of options that seem to mean we could do everything or almost everything without actually ever coming into the snap measure end panel which has a lot of options to it, but it is sometimes a little bit annoying to navigate, especially if you've got a lot of lines going on, if you've got a lot of measurements. For example, if I just shift and D and bring that over here, let's get rid of that line B. We can now do a lot of different things using some of these options. For example, if I come here, we can click the shortest distance. We now get our distance between the shortest points. And when they're equal, for example, there's four verts here and four verts here, it just picks one. Now that's pretty handy. Let's just bin that. But we can also do this from the center or generally the center because the object origins are normally in the center. So we can do the origins and that will give us point to point. And if I want to offset this, we can also do that, if I control shift and V, to a line that's already been created. If I just hit Alt and come here and then click the middle mouse button, I now get this offset function. And again, I can hit X to only do that in the X axis, and then we'll click somewhere here. So while we still have all the options to offset our lines with the line offset here, we don't need to. We can just do this by clicking through. We almost don't need this. Now the other thing that's really handy about this is that because we've got these buttons, we now have the option to assign shortcuts. And what I've done, I'd have to delete it so that I could do this again, is I've assigned something to the furthest point option. So what I did is go to edit preferences and I had a look at my key maps and key bindings and I typed in V because I wanted to use V because control shift and V activates snap measure. I wanted something that's relatively similar to that. So I wanted to use shift and V. So what I did is come in here, search V and have a look for any shortcuts that use shift and V. I found out that vertex slide does, but all the other ones that do are in modes like 3D view or where was the other one? There was another one as well. Here we go, like in box cutter or doing other things. So this wasn't going to be a problem because we weren't going to use that. So what I did, and let's just demonstrate why, is get rid of this vertex slide. Because if I come in here and select this vertex and press shift and V, vertex slide slides along one of the edges that this vertex is attached to. And we don't really need that because we can also hit G twice and it will do exactly the same thing. And I don't need two shortcuts for the same thing. And I generally use the GG option if I want to vertex slide. So just coming back to my preferences and my key maps, let's come to V again in key bindings. And so what I did is I got rid of this vertex slide option. So we haven't got that. If I ever want it back, I can just click restore. And then I came to my furthest right click assign shortcuts and I press shift and V. So now shift and V is assigned as my shortcut. Now what I also need to do is come into edit mode and say I want the same thing because it does register these separately. So shift and V and now if we go to edit preferences and I come to my key bindings and V we should see that in object mode I've got shift and V here and in mesh mode which is effectively edit mode I've also got it there. And what that now means that I can do is I could just come into any object and just press shift and V and then I've got my line 
and that's just going to save me loads of time where I can just do this really quickly just to add lines in from vert to vert. So I really like that. And again, just to really hit home this point, if I control shift and V, alt, and then middle mouse button, I can move this off to the side if I wanted to. So we've got that all working, great. So that's just exciting in terms of the setup. Now what we can also do, let's just get rid of the M panel, is that now as soon as we're in snap measure mode, let's just click off of this, so control shift and V to get into snap measure mode, if I ever hold down Alt, I can then press down Q and we get this pie menu. And this is going to give us pretty much everything that normally was on the end panel. There's a few things that aren't here, but pretty much everything is here, or at least the important things. For example, for this, I might want to edit the distance. And now we've got our distance and we can change it. Let's just click that to both. So there we go. I can change the distance from that central point or I can click on it and change it to seven if I wanted to. Now what's great about this is that I can also come out of this box, hold down Alt, and it will highlight all the colour coding. And if you remember from the last video, if not, then we'll go through it now, that green is the start and red is the end. So if I only want to move the object at the start, which is here, I can just click Start and change that to, let's say, 10. And now only that one moved, or if I have both, then both of them move or end just this one moves. So we can do this all from this menu here and I just click off of it and we've got that sorted. And I can do this for any of these lines. So for example here we could do exactly the same thing and edit the distance. Now we've got slightly less options here because we haven't assigned the vertices to be a start and end here. Again there's that link in the description to that playlist which talks about a lot of this. And all of the other options are here as well. Let's just do that again. For example, if I want to change, I don't know, the text, if I want to change the name of that to, I don't know, width, or change the font size to be either bigger or smaller on everything, I can do. So really handy, we can access everything very quickly and easily. So anyway, I hope you're as excited about that update as I am. I think that's absolutely fantastic that we can do so much more now with this add-on and how regularly it's getting updated to become even more powerful. There's a couple of links to Snap Measure in the description, one for Gumroad and one for Superhive. I know some people have preferences of one over the other. They are affiliate links, which means you help out the channel at no extra cost to you if you use those links when you purchase. And if you did find this video useful, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button. Hope to see you in the next video and have a great day.